Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. I uh, just wanted to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel and following me on YouTube. Uh, look forward to doing many more videos uh, of wood carvers and wood carving in itself. Uh, today we're going to try to do a wood carving spirit out of a piece of wood if I can find it. And I'm sure I can, so uh, stay tuned for that. I uh, just uh, greatly appreciated uh, all the support and the comments that you guys have left behind. Um, but today, um, it has been raining a little bit, and I'm in my building here, so uh, please ig ignore and excuse the, the raindrops on the top of the building. Uh, we're going to do the best we can with the sound, but I do need some feedback from you guys saying, letting me know if the lighting is good, if the angle is okay. Um, if you know you guys can see I want you guys to be able to see really well uh, you know try my best to, to provide um, all the you know the best angles I can but but anyway let's jump right into it let's fire the, the wood stove up put some coffee on and get started gang uh we're back and um before we start actually carving um that wood spirit i wanted to go over some basic some basic cuts and a little bit of various tools that we might bring in to play here um but today we are just going to use the uh just a regular standard bladed knife uh, such as that right there and what we're going to do is um i'm going to show you how i like to do my hair and what that consists of but um before i do that uh, i wanted to show you um this uh kind of study that i i did uh, that i made and it's you know it's strictly um just going over the nose and um what that looks like is basically your first your first cut is um right there that stop cut and relief cut which you just draw a line where you like that that nose come down cut it the next step is to do the half you know the half uh i call it the half half moon shape kind of deal but it's just a little curve cut that you do and just trace out that and uh cut that out with your knife the next step is um is so forth and as you can see you create your nose like that and when you get down you know to the bottom here's the bridge of the nose and you know you have to cut these out to deepen the eye sockets like that that just takes practice and um, get down to it. There's your the beginnings of your face, and uh, so forth. And here's the bottom lip. You know you can you make a mustache like this if you want to, and kind of make him, uh, you know, just however. Um, but uh, just draw your lines in, and you know you have a different mustache, and you have your your mouth, you know, like this. Um, and your eyes, of course, uh, and that's what I wanted to get into today. But I did want to show you this, and um, just remember that you know, I, in the in the next video we'll go over how to actually do a wood spirit. Um, but I did want to go over some basic cuts with you that um, that might help you, you know, get you started on making a actual face, uh, and starting with the nose and progressing down to you know where the face is at, where it's. You know where your eyes are going to be and you know where that th this right here is where i want to get to next okay so with that being said i'm going to scoot this over and pretend like i you know just made one um you know like we had on the other block just had more room on this one what we want to do is just take the knife and come across with a cut like this 
it's kind of a upside down it's kind of a cut sort of like this is the best way I can describe it when you're cutting out the nose it's going to be a cut like that and pretend this is your top of your head and this is bulging out more than it needs to but a cut like this guys is what I'm going after okay just deepening deepening the eye sockets you know we get down here I hope that helps um, but let's just let's just uh, you know put an eye in right fast I'll show you before and after um, and you just want to deepen that eye socket and come around in the corner of the face and just kind of do a scoop cut down toward your bottom of your where your eyes gonna be and just deepen that and see how we deepen that and the profile and that gives you your eye and you know if stuff doesn't come out clean go back in there and recut it and uh, you can do it light so you won't have to deepen them more than you want to or you can go in there and deepen it pretty good uh, gouge it out pretty good and um, you know a lot of people do it a different way this is just a way uh, I've like I said I always kind of just used a regular bladed knife um, you know kind of starting out my carvings and um, when I was growing up but basically I mean there's your there's your eye and I always I just like to move my eyes around I just think it looks pretty cool um, you know if I can get that pencil in there but you know just simple it's very simple anyone can do this you know and having your eyes looking away so uh, and, and I just wanted to demonstrate that and show you how that how that kind of look looks and after you cut the well, let's, let's just do it right fast after you cut that that eyelid or that eye in that's gonna perform that's gonna form your you're also you know when you cut the, the eye in you cut from inside up and what I mean by that is inside up and just remove that chip real careful and that creates your top of your eyelid just like so and we'll go in there and kind of get rid of that mark so it's not confusing that does look kind of weird Again, just recut it. There we go. Just clean it out. Back up to it. Right. There we go. And then, what you do? cut out your top of your eyelid just by tracing it again just like this same thing same principle as you're cutting out the eye from the bottom up stop and relief cuts also shave down to your bottom of your, of your eye so define that more like so okay there you have it there's your eye on the top of your eyelid and proceeding the corner of your eye usually is going to you know give you the bridge of your nose and you know you can perform that as i bring that back in just gouge that out and uh, deepen the eye socket just like so so what you do is just come in from the bottom up stop at the bottom of the eyelid using the tip of your knife kind of a rolling cut come back in score that cut it right out let's go back in recut it there we go it gives you the bridge of your nose or you're starting at the bridge of the nose. Okay, just kind of defend that a little bit more. Shape down, the bottom of your eyelid. You can determine however thick or wide or short you want that. Same thing, same principle.
Okay. Now I want to get to the smile lines. After we cut this bottom of the eyelid in, let's trace it back to back to your corner of your eye. Bottom up. Come down. Just like so. Okay. Now, in the corners of your your wings of your your nose is going to create your smile line and your cheek the beginning of the cheeks. So if you want your smile widened or shortened, it just determines on whatever you want. But keep in mind your anatomy of your of your carving. What I like to do is for the cheeks, the bottom of your nose will help you keep your cheeks where they need to be, okay? So your smile line, you can just bring that down however far, however short you want it. And then the wings of your nose just come out, kind of small, follow your line that you made. And voila, just like that. And you just trace that. You trace that. You uh, stop and relief cut for your smile line. It's supposed to come out. If Harold Enlow was here, he could probably come chip it out real fast, couldn't he? Or Tom Wolf. <laughs> Those two guys have just been very inspirational to me as I started and greatly appreciate and enjoy their, their books and their videos they left behind for us to watch. Okay, and just stuff like that, guys. Just keep it simple. I would walk in the cheeks. What I mean is just cut here, cut down there, and then you can round it over. Just very, very simple. Then you, you could either do a, uh, a big lip, short lip, um, open, closed mouth, uh, what have you, a mustache, like so. Um, just kind of drawing this in pretty fast in the bottom of the lip. You just trace that and cut it out with your knife. Okay? And I just wanted to demonstrate that before we started. And uh, before we go, I do want to show you um, what I mean by hair, hair flow. Um, I'm just going to go up here, guys, and it's really not a, that big of a, a deal where this is at. That's just for the demonstration purposes. Let's just do this. Let's do stop, cut, relief cut, okay? Now, that's fine, and there's nothing wrong with that line, and you guys can do that. But for hair, you can either do that, make it kind of rigid, wherever you want to do it, down slanted but for hair I like to do and I'm going to demonstrate this with a marker because it shows up better on camera say this is our bottom of our nose here and our cheek is here and our mustache is coming down like this okay does that make sense to you guys Hair, in my opinion, needs to have a little movement to it, ever so slightly. Okay, and this will, you know, make a better, it will make better carving. Um, simple cuts, like little S curves, it's, um, you know, just slanting down like that. And let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. I don't want to get up there. I just want to, let's see, let's do this. Take your tip of your knife and just do this gradually little S curves to make hair. And then you just stop and relief cut. And you can gouge that out with your knife, make it deep or shallow cuts, whatever you know you need. And you know, you can layer that to where it looks like more than one lock of hair is coming down, you know, instead of and you just do that one on top of the other. And just using the tip of your knife, you can get different. And come in right in the middle, halfway down, and just keep, I mean, it's kind of endless, really, guys. It's like a horse's mane. It's the best way I can describe it is just coming down naturally. Or a long, long beard on a, on a wood spirit. Or you just go back in there and recut it. And that's, you know, that... There's some hair, you know, 
and uh, you can do all this with a knife. Um, now I will show you that you can do this with a V-tool. Um, this is a uh, 90 degree 5 8 15 millimeter V-tool. I said all that because I got it written down on the back, so I don't forget. <laughs> but you can do the same thing with a V-tool. Okay. Alright, and you know with different degree V of V tools that are out there that which are numerous You can you know get different results um, Sometimes what I like to do to Give it some shadows do a V tool and then find which one I want to To go deeper and just trace that with my knife come back in and give it some shadow like so But I I wanted to show you guys that before we got started. Um, so we got got our nose, our beginnings of our nose, and the stages that we do. And with our eyes, it's the same thing that we we kind of do on the nose. Is like this cut right here, the beginnings. Is that cut right here where my thumbs at? You kind of want to do that with with your eye, and just lock it in, just like so. And for the eyebrow, I'm sorry, I forgot to do that. It's just, you know, come up where the bridge of the nose is right there and just kind of follow it like so, okay? Let's take you some hair. Okay? And you can have some hair flow like, you know, down through here. And then you got your wood spirit. So let's go on to uh, try to make a video of a wood spirit and y'all have fun be real safe um you know take your time i'm not going to be in a hurry to do this this is going to be in two or three part you know video guys so just uh, bear with me it's my first time doing an you know instructional video but i'm looking forward to it and uh we'll go ahead and get into it y'all stay tuned uh, for more to come 